So I'm holding the bottle more downward and the nose down. So it encourages them to actually swallow then chew. Makes them work for it. You hold it up in the air, then they have the potential of, to aspirate if you do it this way. So if you drop their nose down with the bottle, it decreases the chance of them aspirating. until they're strong enough to nurse from the bottle, then you can raise it up a little bit more. And a lot of times you want your fingers under to make sure she's swallowing and not just chewing. Head positioning, right? It's kind of big. Yeah, head positioning. We don't want the nose up in the air. We want the more nose down. Um, so the kiddos do not aspirate. Um, I always cut my hand around their mouth. So less sucking of air. Um, and then have a finger underneath the jaw to make sure they are swallowing and not just chewing the bottle. If they are chewing the bottle, take the bottle away and reapproach uh, and try to continue to get them to suckle instead. Patience is the key to any of our ruminants or foals. Um, if you don't have a time to do them, always let the service know and we can do their feedings on an off hour. But see how she's coughing? That means it's either air going in or she's starting to aspirate a little bit. So take the bottle away, wait a minute, and reapproach. No, not yet. Stop it. <laughs>